What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be doing some hot racing brass weight upgrades to the Axial SCX24 Jeep Wrangler. So here I have hot racing part number SXTF2604H. These are the four millimeter steel axle brass weights for the SCX24. So disclaimer, you will not be able to install these onto your SCX24 unless you already have the hot racing four millimeter steel axles um, that extended the axle uh, for your truck. So if you don't have those axles, don't buy this part because you won't be able to put them on to your stock axles that came with your SCX24. So luckily for me, I did the axle video a couple videos back. So now I'm gonna do these weights. They're pretty simple. It's a pretty simple install. So uh, let's take the wheels and the body off and we'll jump right into it. So this is a pretty simple install. So um, let me explain this to you guys. So this is the hex hub. So we're gonna pop that guy off. And then we have our pin. So there is our pin. I'm gonna pull that guy off. And this is our spacer that came with the axle. So we're simply just gonna replace this spacer with one of these weights. So these weights act as a spacer and they're just weights that are added to the truck. So it's that simple. So now that we have our spacer off of our truck, we're simply gonna grab one of these weights, slip it onto the axle, and that is legit it. That's how you install these weights onto your truck. And so then we're just gonna grab our pin, and just slide it in there, bam, pins in. Hex subs on, and that's legit the install. It's kind of, it just seems like it's so simple. Um, it was really hard to find instructions online for this specific upgrade. Um, Hot Racing also provides a bunch of hardware with these weights, and I couldn't find anything to go along with that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And so we added five grams, is it five grams? We added five grams of weight just by that little weight right there, and so it acts as a spacer and it was that that simple and mind you you can only do this modification if you have the uh the hot racing four millimeter axle extenders on there and so now we're just going to do the same thing around all four corners of the truck and that will legit be it so it's pretty much the same exact thing on the back side of the truck you simply pull off the hub grab your pliers pop out your pin and then you grab your spacer so I just took the SCX24 out for a little crawl, and I noticed a lot of rubbing or binding. I'm not too sure if it was binding, but it definitely was rubbing. And so I've come to conclude that the provided hardware that Heart Racing provides with you, these, these little shims right here, my finger, and then, and then that little screw right there. I believe they go back here. So when I put on this weight on the back axle, there's a little bit of a gap in between uh, this black part and the weight. And I believe I can eliminate it if I replace this hardware that is provided. So there's there's the old one, and on the other side, there's the hot racing hardware. And so I believe if you replace it and you add your shims, there shouldn't be much um, rubbing, and you'll be able to run the truck a lot better. So uh, yeah, I figured it out. So back to the video, thank you. And we grab our weight. It looks kind of weird to pop it on. Pop it on, Look, there's, a, there's a little bit of a gap. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit of a gap right there. It's kind of weird, in my opinion. And then we grab our pin, put it on, grab our little hub. Bam, there we are. There is the weight in the back of the truck. Honestly, this may be one of the best mods to the truck. So simple to put on, adds a bunch of weight. Only downside to it is that you have to have those full four millimeter axles, but honestly, I would recommend this 10 out of 10 times. Pretty freaking easy. So now I'm just gonna do the last one and then we will see how the truck looks. So there is all four corners of the truck. They all got the weights on them. Um, I really, when I first got into this hobby, I didn't want to be that kid that just spent all the money on all the parts and all the brass, but by the looks of it, that's what I, exactly what I did. So uh, we're all brassed out up here in the truck. Um, I'm excited about adding some weight back here to the back of the truck because the front has plenty of weight already. So adding it to the back is pretty awesome. So by the looks of it, I'm just a walking hot racing commercial for you guys. Not affiliated at all, but uh, the products are dope. And so there is the brass weights. 
the brass axle weights next to the brass knuckles. <laughs> Talk about one of the easiest weight mods or mods in general on the Axial SCX24 that you can see back there in the wheels. Um, honestly, that took me less than like five minutes to do. It's insane. Super easy. Didn't really have to take anything apart. Um, I could feel it. I could feel it in all corners now. I, I could feel most of the weight up front. But now you can feel some weight back here, so that's good. That's that's great. I like that. I like to see that. Um, so yeah, there is the Axio SCX24 with the four plus millimeter weight, hot racing weights on there. Um, yeah, definitely super surprised about how that came out. Uh, so yeah, if you guys haven't followed along with the channel, consider subscribing. Going to this whole Jeep almost there. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.